It makes you feel a lot better about getting old in this business. <laughs> We see Claire unravel this season in a way that we've never really seen her before. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of all of his achievements. We've gotten older, we've gotten creakier. Katrina, it's lovely to see you again. I know, lovely to chat to you again. How's it going? Good, thank you. You're a busy woman right now. <laughs> it's, yeah. Like, wait, which one are we talking about? Yeah, got it. <laughs> you didn't make it easy for yourself because you were pregnant for all of, pretty much yeah. all of season six filming, right? How much did they have to change things? Because normally there's a lot of horse riding and all of that kind of thing. Was there much adapting that they had to do? No, oh. <laughs> I think I think the only thing they adapted was, as you said, I think in, in the first episode, uh, I was supposed to be riding a horse and I had to send an email and just be like, I'll, I think I need to be in a cart. Um, so they, they had to change that, but really they didn't adapt the scripts at all. Um, obviously until, you know, I got too big, um, which is probably, you know, which is the main reason we had to truncate the season um, because it just wasn't safe at that point, but no. She's running around, she's shooting guns, she's, you know, doing all the things. And it was, yeah, it was definitely a challenge. That's for sure. Yeah, probably harder on you than anyone else. <laughs> um, where do we see Claire kind of going into season six? We see Claire unravel this season in a way that we've never really seen her before. Um, you know, she has this usual coping mechanism of compartmentalizing everything. She gets to move on. I think it's why she's such a good doctor that she is able to separate these sort of sides of herself, but that doesn't really serve her anymore with this. And she really just has to find a new way of coping. And part of that I think is, you know, I don't think Claire asks for help easily. I think she's somebody that always gives help. Um, and I think part of her Part of her recovery will be having to to really ask for help very deep kind of subject matter for you very very deep okay. um but obviously you have this great relationship with sam and it's just evolved over time for you when you think back to how it was when you started to where it is now has much changed or is it just like always been so this great oh we've gotten older we've gotten creakier um <laughs> You know, I know the great thing was Sam and I really connected from day one and we re we made a decision, you know, it, it was a it was a real like, let's talk about this and let's make this decision to always have each other's backs. And that hasn't changed. You know, obviously we are now friends for, you know, almost nine years. Um, we confide a lot in each other. We've had all this crazy life experience. Both of our lives have changed so much in that time i'm so proud of him i'm so proud of all of his achievements he's you know blossomed into this absolute powerhouse of like a producer creator you know his business stuff he's his all of his acting his films that he's been doing yeah. you know it's amazing it's amazing to see how how both of us you know we've we've just kind of grown a lot from from the very inception where we were two sort of very green young actors and um you know i'm just so grateful that i've had such a wonderful you know co-worker friend and you know confidant to be able to have gone through all of this with yeah he's great he's my he's my james bond i put a bet on him like ah uh, come on <laughs> When we first heard that Daniel Craig wasn't doing more, I uh, put up Sam. So for me, it's him. Has, has, he, has Uncle Sam met uh, your, your baby yet? He has, yes, oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, he, he was like this. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> has it surprised you how much fans have loved Claire and Jamie as a couple? Like, like they're obsessed with them, they adore them. I think when I first started the show, I, I I wasn't aware of the magnitude of the fan base and I wasn't even aware of the length of the book series, you know, but I think once you understand this world that Diana's created and you understand how long the books have been around and the, the huge size of the readership, then yeah, you understand that 
these you know these are not our characters <laughs> these are these belong to millions and millions of people around the world they've been a fabric of so many people's lives and that once you understand that then yeah you understand why people feel such an ownership and they should and you know it's been a real privilege to be able to you know inhabit those characters and put a sort of human face on it and you know we we just feel so grateful that people have embraced it and you know the our viewership continues to grow which is incredible um and that just yeah it just feels like a real privilege really obviously we've just had the night the book um coming out which was yeah. what in yeah last end of last year how do you feel like knowing that you've got so you've still got more to come from claire well, you know it makes you feel a lot better about getting old in this business <laughs> You're like, it's fine. Um, you know, it's it's amazing. Like, you don't get to be a part of something like this. It is a phenomenon in its own right. And you don't get to be a part of something like that very often, if if ever. And it's been, it's been amazing. And, you know, if we get to continue on, then that will be just still an incredible thing.